<laughs> okay, so in that case, just, just wait longer between corrections. So you point at me, you move to the side of me, and just kind of wait until it drifts you out a bit, and then you should be able to hold it at 20 kilometres. Do you see that if you pointed straight at me, you'd approach me pretty much, but by pointing to the side, you're going to the side of me? And by pointing more to the side, you you have a wider orbit on me. Yeah, I think it was definitely how frequently I was clicking that was causing the problem. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it takes a little bit of fine tuning to get a good feel for this. It's getting the exact time to click double in space to get the precise kilometer. Yeah, definitely. Okay then. That Does it have to wave away now? Uh, it can do. Different people like it. Um, okay, right. Uh, can I ask know? one more question? About the yeah. Um, so, when we hit C and our camera centers on you, uh, if we click C again, what effect is that actually having? It'll just recenter it. It just keeps recentering it. Okay, so it not on a specific recenter. target, just center of my screen. Yeah, so try not clicking C. Try double clicking space and not. You're, what you'll see is I kind of drift off your picture to the left as you go past me. Is how often we're clicking having a significant impact on our speed? Um, it, basically, the more you click, the more circular your orbit is. Sometimes you need to click less to kind of allow yourself to kind of angle out a bit to get a bit further away. It works very well with the micro orb. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone turn your mic. Look at seven. On. Look at seven. Okay, everyone turn your micro warp drives on. So everyone be doing it with your micro warp drives on. It can be easier to do it with my, out your micro warp drives on. And basically, if you're at 20 kilometers, it's kind of hard to knock up if you're only going 400 meters per second. But uh, that's pretty good, guys. That looks really good. Okay, we'll move on to the next section. The next section is called slingshotting. And for this, you're going to be in pairs. I want you to convo the person that you're paired with. So Althurus and Anaxis convo each other. Start a private conversation. Arps and Bishop Actual. Uh, Drax, are you with us, buddy? Don't think he is. Corbeck and Leshrac convo each other. Raven and Senshi convo. Substantia Tamino convo. Thomasina and Valky. Zenvin uh, convo me. Okay, with the person in your pairs, um, what what I want you to do is we're going to do a few exercises, so keep these convos open, and uh, you're going to use these conversations um, to, hang on. Oh, okay. Zenvin, you're not with me, you're with Drax. So Zenvin, I've closed our conversation. Can you start some a conversation with Drax and just put an X in fleet when that conversation's ready? I don't, I don't see Drax. Zenvin, he's not in fleet. You should have a blues overview, and he's on grid with us. He's about two kilometers away from you. Or oh, look in local. You can convo him in local. Roger, I wasn't aware. It's cool. It's cool. Have you got that set up? Okay, Drax is back in fleet now. Zenvin, have you got your... You have, you have. Okay. Right. What we're going to do now is manually orbit the person you're comboed with at 20 kilometers. We're now going to talk about uh, and point each other. 
actually manually, manually orbit at 15 kilometers and point at each other. I know some of you haven't got the long range points. So I want to see lots and lots of warp scramble attempts. Bam, that's perfect. Okay, now what we're going to talk about now is um, escaping from people. So say you're with this guy, right? Target the person who's pointed you. Look where he is in space. So I'm looking at Drax, who's 20 off me. And he's kind of drifting over there about, oh, okay. If I wanted to get to Drax, if I align towards planet 8, that would take me in towards Drax. So what you want to do when someone's pointing you, you want to look at to escape. Look where they are. Turn the camera around about 180 check, degrees. Check, check. You have an, an hostile instillator jumping into one tech G very soon. From V tech, from, from tech and yes, there it is. jumped. It jumped. Hey, when what? Is it just a stiletto? Just a stiletto. Rest 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 rest. in, guys. Sebos. Get him if you can. I warp on the other side from here. I tried to catch him. Yes. Stop pointing each other, guys. Asking. Give warp to the side. Asking. Go some. Go some. Going to twist. Zero. Warp drive. Asking. Bye. Fifty. Eladio, what's the situation on the other side? Other side is still too neutral, it's nothing on D-scan uh, or quiet. They wait until he is safe, I guess. He's a hundred away from Sam. Burn from him. Call points if you get them. It worked. Two. You can see it worked. Okay. Come back to Butch, we will carry on with the lesson. I think he went to the TCU. Chase him if you can, chase him. I'm on him, after him. Yeah, they're writing in Cyrillic over here. Still out of the TCU. Point you got him? Drop W. The W2 ever pointed him? It, no, he should point him. Not here. Hold comms, guys, unless you get a point. Just, or unless you can see where he's got. Planet 7, head for Planet 7. Warp drive active. 100. He's at planet seven. Zero. He warped he to the take. Roger, I'm on the other side, guys. Warp the gate at zero. And hold. He's landing with you, Tekken. I have no sense no. of Pusa though. Let's see. I'll come through with you. Jump. Get on the gate at zero. Did we jump or wait? Wait. Oh, I had a Listen. long. He warped. Get back into one tank, G. Uh, planet one. I had a lock, but the. the Tech 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 everyone back into contact you. He he seemed to be a long way off. He was thirty three off me. Doesn't matter. I have over here to point. You just jump through. You you were not fully. Uh... Yeah yeah. I was fifteen one side. He was fifteen the other. I had a lock on him. Ugh. It's all right. It's all right. We're still really near the time. Hmm. Two seconds. It's hard to do. <laughs> Yeah, you know that when you have a log and and you have the the, the tackle blinking already, but it doesn't catch. Just yes. went went to the yes. yes. Okay, guys, back to the lesson. In your pairs, orbit each other at the 15 kilometers and point each other. He jumped out. I guess they go the other way. Oh, okay. Uh, hold, hold aggression, guys. Turn your points off. Yes, you lose the jump bridge again. Get ahead of them. Uh, 
Can someone tell me when you've got 10 minutes left on your aggression? 10 minutes? 10 seconds, sorry. 10 minutes. Uh, if you get in trouble with these rats, just warp off, but otherwise we'll just sit on this gate and wait for aggression. Jump, 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 ready. Jump, 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 Walk drive active. Oxley. Successfully land, hold on with uh walk to you. Roger that. I'm not too worried about these guys. I want to do the class. I want to give away a prize karma and get on with that. If they jump into us in cruises, we will absolutely murder them. So let's just chill and get on with the class. Everyone walk to Caldron, please. So back in one tank G and walk to Caldron. Senvin, you're pointing the wrong person. Remember you're partnered up with Drax now. You were on my watch list, I apologize. That's okay, that's okay. So orbit the person at 15, point them, right? Now I want you to think about your exit. So you look at the person who's pointing you and you think, oh okay, so they're over there. Now what's the other way? Uh, now when they're orbiting and going around you like this, like where they are now that's actually stuff that's in that direction is a good place to look because they're kind of going away from that thing so if you imagine like someone's orbiting me and they're just going across the sun at the moment they're going towards sort of planet eight and kind of around that way if i'm thinking oh actually if i head towards the sun or even something maybe a bit to the left of the sun like that planet six um up there i could think well if i go to there they're kind of swinging around me. The way you break, um, the way you break a tackle like this by manoeuvring, is you wait until they're going around you and towards your behind, and you head really quickly the other way. So, with your partners, target the sun. Have a look where the person pointing you is. So you might need to kind of click off and on. You might need to click over and have a look at the person who's tackled you, look back to the sun, look back to them, and so on like that. So you get a feel what's around you in space. Now, when they go around you so that they're going to go behind you from the sun, I want you to align to the sun with your micro warp dive on and try and get a bit of distance from them and try and warp off to the sun. Because they're just doing this manual orbiting. This isn't even slingshotting yet. This is just basically breaking their tackle. I can see someone's walked off already. So you look where they're moving in space. And when they're heading behind you, the fact you start going the opposite direction, it takes a while for the, the orbit to realise. They'll still be heading behind you. So you'll go really fast the opposite direction. And even quite easy speeds, you can do it. I can see not everyone's done it. So, okay, that's stop that exercise now. So, look, if you didn't get out already, just carry on orbiting. Everyone who got out, come back to Caldron, please. What's the fleet? The fleet is closed. Isn't this the whole fleet? No, no, no. Uh, stop, stop talking, please. Comes eight, mate. So everyone get back to Calderon and re-establish the same pairs 
uh, orbit each other 15 kilometers and point each other. Now we're going to do what's called slingshotting. Now you know that if you head the opposite way when they're heading one way, like that will kind of give you a chance to break free. What we do now is look at the sun, look at your opponent, your partner, now look back at the sun. Now I want you to turn 180 degrees from the sun, so you're looking completely opposite way of the sun. Double click in space, put your micro warp drive on. Then look back at your partner. You'll see they're orbiting you, but their orbit, it's like a big floaty soap bubble that's kind of drifting along after you, trying to stay roughly 15 kilometers, but it's being pulled along by you away from the sun. You've now given that kind of big drifty orbit that they've got you've kind of given it velocity away from the sun. So when you turn around, turn around now, target the sun, right? Um, so let's just have the first person, so look at your private chat, whoever's the top name in that chat, suddenly when you see them go past, right, align to the sun, micro warp drive on, bang, and w mash your warp to button to get out. And you try and do it when they're just coming around you from the sun to your side and about to go head behind you. If you time that right, they're going to be going around you to the behind of you. And you are already kind of pulling them that way by going away from the sun. You do a 180. This is called slingshotting. And this will break. I've, I've used afterburner frigates and I've slingshotted micro warp drive condors and crows. You can break things really fast by this mechanic. So people point you and you think, well, I should be dead. I've got a scram after burner frigate and this guy can just shoot me from 20 kilometers and I should never escape. But by using this maneuver, which is called a slingshot, you can get out. Uh, any questions? Anyone not able to do this? Yes, please repeat. <laughs> yeah. I got lost. Okay, so, right. Uh, hang on, we only did it for the top people. So everyone come back to Calderon re-establish the tackles and then the second people can go and then uh, we'll go to anyone who's still got problems it might be easier for some of you if you see other people do it so re-establish your tackles you drag them away from the sun have a look at them when they're just coming from the sun to your side align to the sun you can even overheat your micro warp drive and mash your warp to a button they're going to be going around behind where you were or where you, they think you were going to and you're heading really fast in the opposite direction so you're going to lose them. So all we're slingshotting is to catch people. Sorry? I thought slingshotting is a technique to catch people. Okay, explain. Well, you do the same mechanic just in the opposite way so that you get people which are orbiting you so you can tackle them yes yes that works very well um we'll take questions and then we'll go on to a few a few refinements of slingshotting but this this to explain slingshotting this works pretty well and it's very you know if you did it right because you walked and off to the sun or you failed to mm -hmm. warp off taking questions who can't do it x uh, x, x up or key up if you have a problem I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I've gotten away twice. You're doing it right. Because your opponent is on orbit at 15. So, like, does it make sense as well that you send them one way and then you rush really quickly in the other way? Yeah. Yes, you want them to be behind wherever you're going to warp to. Yeah, you want them to be heading the opposite direction to what you're going to be warping to. Roger. Basically behind you. Yeah. So basically, if you imagine they're coming from the sun, going around you to the opposite side uh, uh, of, so that they'd be the far side of, from the sun, and you suddenly head to the water sun, so like... So key up guys, who's got questions, who doesn't understand how to do it? You may not be able to do it, but if you understand how to do it, that's oh, just a matter of practice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Anyone not understand it? Does anyone not get it? So I think the goal is you're going to point him to the direction you're not going to go. 
So when he goes, you turn around and go to the other direction. Exactly. But if a pe uh, person is orbiting you using the orbit command. Yes, it works how, really how well on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Points, just points. Well, whatever helps you learn, that's fine. Not affecting this, I don't have a score. Okay. Okay. Does anyone have any more questions about Because I'd like to move on. I know not everyone has got this, and it might be more practice later. Guys, deagress. We may have a Vexel here to kill in TVN. Deagress, deagress. TVN, did you say? Yes. Should we jump bridge? What the hell? He, it disappeared. Okay, that's it. No. Guys, digress, digress, digress. Align the DA. Go, go, normal gate onto T Tech. Pepsi, may I ask my partner a question? No, no, we're going ZAO. Everyone, warp, self warp to ZAO, jump on contact, take jump bridge. Warp drive active. Thanks, Estetis. I think he cloaked after he came out from the gate. Uh, he broke his gate cloak and I tried to lock him and he disappeared. I can't believe this. Okay, we approach. Uh, actually, no, we'll go back to TVN and we'll just see. So, warp to the jump bridge in ZDO and take it. I start orbiting the gate with my warp drive at 10 kilometers. Maybe I can decloak him here. If you just stay on that grid, he'll get bored after a while and make a break for it. After all, there's only one Inti on him. Hopefully. Which gate do you want? It's a uh, OMV gate in TVN. He tried to get through here. He's still at us alone in, gang, uh, in TVN here. Okay. In AZBR, um, it's so so now. now. Who's it? Name? King in Take one more. Is it the Rara or a monkey? Are you going to me? No, we're going to AZBR and holding for now. This is our new position. Uh, warp to Carbon. Warp drive active. Wait, I'm confused as shit. What's where are you, Zembe? I'm in, uh, South. Take the jump bridge. Warp to Cadillac. I got you. Sorry. Okay. Okay, right. Um, just hold here for now. Don't aggress anyone yet. We might be fighting. Oh, you, you can come on this grid or with the gate at 10 was my warp drive on and just get lucky to decloak him. Or he's snowboarding no, away. away. I mean, we need to be fast here. I hate to be like... Okay, like my name. Name. Get to TVN, that's all. Get to TVN. Jump on contact. I, can... I have a question for you, FC. Hold, no, not now. Jump, jump, jump. Unless you've got an unpiloted Titan on a grid with you, then I don't want to know. Take wing warp. Warp drive active. I'm not being horrible, it's just that we're fighting and maybe killing a ship, so we need to focus on doing that at the moment. Roger. Or with the gate at 10. I'm, I'm not sure, maybe he's slow putting it. Or with the gate just. Yeah, or with at 10 or 15. He's probably drifted off a bit. M maybe, maybe he. he I don't, know. don't know. Would you would you go back to the gate or would you try to get in range? Prop mods on, prop mods on, prop mods on. Sensor boosters on also. We don't want to he, he could be doing either. I mean, I used to do this a lot and I used to just basically. Put the cl cloak on, double click down, and go for just, cup just of tea. go go with with an orbit of 500 and go up to to 10 and just 
very eight there. Between five to fifteen. Yeah, I mean, there's different things we want to try. I'm doing a close orbit just in case he is coming back to the game. Okay, we're going to carry on with uh, the class. We were taking questions on slingshotting. Anyone <laughs> with questions? Not aggress each other now. Uh, clear comms. We're clear comms. I'm, I'm taking questions. When I have my micro warp drive on, which is what you would normally have on given the scenario, that when I'm clicking to the right of the person, and my camera shifts after pressing C, that I go too far out, so I I have to left click back in immediately. But I can hold a twenty stable, a fifteen stable, but I have to click left and right constantly, which makes turning on mods and all the other stuff hard when you're thinking about it. That is absolutely correct, and it is hard. This is a high skill, advanced class for skillful players. Better so you're later. supposed to be you're, you're supposed to be clicking left and right of the person you have your centered camera on to continually adjust yes okay then i'm not doing it wrong okay you're doing it correctly it's hard like i tried to turn on my module several times when he when he got out of my range and it's hard to think about that yeah i mean all of us don't manually pilot all the time because it is a pain yeah he left, but... he left local i don't know what happened here. Okay, not to worry guys, we will go up to a perch and we will kind of sit here where we OMV da da de da de da Take one more. Well, if you offer this class more than once, I will take it more than once just to try to sharpen it without dying. But... The background of the class is that an interceptor fleet killed a very expensive blinged out Tengu and I got 200 million of loot I didn't know what to do with, so I decided to buy a Gama and uh, award it to the best uh, person who wasn't going to immediately get it killed for a frigate pilot. Okay, clear comms, clear comms. We are back on track on the lesson. We are now do it. We've done slingshotting. I know not everyone's got it perfectly, but we're going to move on to something else. We're now going to do range management. Yeah? Range management, basically, as an interceptor, you normally want to be about 15 to 20 kilometers off someone. The Things that can kill interceptors on battleships, battle cruisers, are warp scramblers, newts, um, webs, and they've got range out to about 12 kilometers. So if you orbit them at 15 with your micro warp drive on, the only thing they can really do is point you. So you're very hard to kill. And if they point you, you know how to escape. So imagine you've got a battleship pointed, right? And you think, oh, right, okay, um, like, uh, he's starting to nuke me and I'm starting to take a lot of damage. I don't like this, right? I need to leave. We're going to do an exercise now. Everybody lock up Calderon and point to Calderon. Orbit me at 15, please. Everybody point me, please. Not seen point some Althurus yet. Uh, I missed partial of your instructions. I'm sorry, someone had to yell at Ellen. Semvin, lock me up and point me. Right. Uh, okay, orbit of 15, orbit of 15. Okay, you are going to lose if you are close than 15. Currently, automatically losing are Drax, Zenvin, Bishop, and Senshi. Orbit at 15, get range, get range. Because I am a battleship and I am putting my web and scram on the Zen axis because he's only 5k off me. Zenvin only 9k off me. Arp's only 11k off me. I can. Um, so you're too close. Right, okay. Now you need. Now, what I want you to do, I'll explain first, and then you can implement it. What you want you to do is get off grid without coming closer. So, by right, everyone within everyone less than twelve kilometers is going to die from now. Zenvin dead. Get off grid. Get off grid. Get off grid. You've got twenty seconds. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventy. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. 13, 12, 
11, 10. Leshrac, you're too close and you got scrammed trying to get off grid. You're dead. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and a half, 1 and a quarter, 1, <laughs> 0. Substantia, you're dead. Drax, you're dead. Althurus, you're dead. Raven, you're dead. Valky, you're dead. I'm Thomasina, dead. you're dead. I'm you're terrible. You had to get off grid without coming within oh, 10 kilometers of me. <laughs> Everyone walk back to Caldron, try again. That was pathetic. That was absolutely <laughs> abysmal. When I got my center camera on you and I'm trying to orbit you manually and you're sitting still, no matter how far wide out I click to the right or the left, I keep on coming in on you. Okay. Just because I like Zenbin, we are now going to do it. Just press your orbit button. Like, don't orbit me at 15. So right-click my chip or whatever, set orbit 15. We're not even going to manually orbit. That's how easy this exercise should be. Everybody point me. Everybody orbit me at 15 and point me. Corbeck, you're too close. Anaxis, you're too close. Tamino, you're too close. Orbit 15, point me. Tamino, where's your point? Bishop Actual, where's your point? Bishop Actual, orbit me at 15 and point me. Oh, it's not on comms. It's not very good. Oh, I'm here. Okay, oh, fair enough. Okay, so orbit at 15, you're pointing me. Right, if you come within 12 kilometers, I will scram and web you in my big battleship and kill you. Get off grid. Get off grid. So we need, we need to warp, to warp off, off now? now? Yes, warp off now. Don't come within 12 kilometers. So look where you're exiting and make sure you exit in a safe... Senshi, you're dead. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're 12 kilometers off me, mate. That oh, was a that must have been bad, the very last second. bad exit. It was at the very last second. It was a bad exit factor. Well, so he flew past you on his way out. Hey, there are drones with the sun. Move them. Sorry, was what past me? When he, when he exited, he flew past you. Exactly. And, he, and, that's and then how came within, yeah. Thomasina, you're dead. No, I just walked back. Oh, okay. Uh, Alturus, you're dead. Leshrac, you're dead. Substantia, you're dead. What the heck are you guys doing? I know you walked on. Can, 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 I, can, I, can I leave this Vexa now and come back to the fleet? Because yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So if you miss all the fun here. Okay, we are going chit chat. We are going back to um, questions now. Questions on range management. Everyone walk to Cowed One. Does anyone not understand that exercise? So get off the dead, get off the grid, and don't get um, don't. When you get off, you have an exit vector that takes you away from your target. You don't go close and get webbed and scrammed because you're 15 kilometers. You're trying to leave. Why are you getting scrammed at 10 kilometers? We lose so many people to this. Go away by something that's further away, going to take you further away. So, like, if the sun will take you further away, fine. But if aligning to the sun will put you right past that battleship, get you scrammed and webbed and killed, don't align to the sun as your escape mechanism. Question. Well, anything, really. Sure, it depends where you are. I mean, basically, just don't go past the battleship on your escape. Okay, we've done range management. We're now going to do jousting. Have you still got your convos? X up anyone who's not got their convos, doesn't know who their partner is or who needs a partner. FC, yeah, uh, Corbeck's gonna dock real quick. I've got an overview glitch. Sure. Is there right to ask a question quickly about the well, yeah. previous bit? Is there any ever time when it's appropriate to manually orbit if you're not trying to do it like i just can't see how it's more beneficial to manually do that at the moment okay i was well, tackling well, i was tackling a uh, vagabond the other day in the, in the same crow right if i'd burned straight at him using approach he would have killed me um if i'd hit the orbit button he would have slingshotted me so what i did is i put my mouse cursor really close to him and i orbited him and i kept him pointed for like 30 seconds while the rest of the fleet caught up and got um, got on top of him and got a secondary point. And that wouldn't have been possible using the functionality in the UI. You have to manually orbit to do that kind of fine flying. Okay. okay. 
and they'll the more once you now you've got this in your toolbox just play around with it sometimes i mean sometimes you'll do it and you'll really fuck up you think oh yeah i'll, I'll just manually orbit because i'm pro and then you see oh 35 kilometers shit i've lost point <laughs> you know so it can go really wrong but um it's good to have this in your toolbox the next level of being a really skillful interceptor pilot is when you have this and you're really good at it fair play okay Okay, we're now going to do jousting, which is what really good insect pilot do. What I want you to do is the second person in every pair, Corbeck, are you about with us? You are. Second person Sorry. in every pair walk down to OMV gate. You approach your partner with your scram on and your micro walk drive on. Right, so your scram should be overheated, and f and uh, what you're trying to do is right. So your partner's on the gate, and your partner's 200 kilometres away. Your partner starts burning up towards you. You want to go just past him, like 13 kilometres, 12 kilometres past him, and time it so that most of the time you'll be further out than that. You're just going to have a moment where you're 12 kilometres away, and you get your scram on him. And you time it so you get your scram on, he doesn't scram you. It's called jousting. It's really, really skillful. Can you just go through that again, please, let's see. Approach your partner. Mm -hmm. Go slightly to the side of him so that most of the time, as you approach him, like you might be 100, 90, 80, 70 kilometres away from him, 60, 50, 20 kilometres away, 12 kilometres, you scram him, 20, 30, you're burning away from him. So you're just going to do a drive-by on him, you get your scram off, and at no point is he able to scram you, because almost all the time you're too far away. You need to have an overheated scram, and need to just time it so that you, you get your only in range for like a split second, and you time it so you get your scram on him and he doesn't get his scram on you. It is done a lot, and it's a really good technique. It means that you can go after like a wolf in a crow, and you'll get a scram on it, and he doesn't kill you. Why? If you don't have a scram, dock up and fit one. Or you can skip this, but bear in mind, this, this is a skill, and this is something that we'll be doing in the tournament as well, as, uh, possibly if we get that far, if we haven't eliminated everyone by then. But you will have a chance to foul other players in the tournament using your scram. <laughs> okay. Scrum anyway. ha ha has anyone managed? To yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's a free win. So take that. So has anyone managed to go past their partner, scram them, and not get scrammed? Yeah, Roger. Good stuff. Excellent work. Questions? Does anyone not understand how to do it? Does anyone not understand what they're trying to do? Well, I don't understand the point of it because as soon as you fly past him, you you lose the scram, don't you? Still have a point on that. Right. Okay. You've got a fleet of crows chasing a wolf. Right, the wolf's kind of going really far away. Right, um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to kill that wolf's micro walk drive, so that your rest of your fleet can catch him up. But if you went too close to him, he'd scram you, and web you, and come close and kill you. Can I have a fleet to move on? Yeah. Well, if he's overheating his scram. Well, this is it. It's about the timing. If you are only very briefly close enough to each other, he may never get it. I've had this where I've had the scram, and someone's come in and scrammed me, and I've not been able to get them back because they are, their timing was that spot on. They were literally only within 12 kilometers for like tenth of a second and they they knew they were just waiting to do it scramming a stationary fc doesn't count the lad yet i have no partner yet i exed but nothing happened oh right does anyone okay yeah let's do it uh the ladio, walk down to the gate i'll do it with you then so it's about timing your lock as well Mm, less so about targeting the lock, I would say. 
No, if, no, if, if you have if a crow have... with a sensor booster, it's less, but if you have a sledder like me with a 30 kilometer lock range, yeah, then it's... I don't know which of those purples over me, <laughs> it's kind of wrong. So, Should look at the overview, click me on the overview, have your camera centered, and you'll be kind of seeing me centered towards you, yeah? So you're trying to calculate the range away from him and hit that point where you're just 10 kilometers away from him and then instantly leave after you get the lock? Just in range and then out, yeah. Am I getting it right, Drag? So I imagine it's, it's how far away from him you're clicking to start your approach. An inch, a half an inch, how far okay. off, of, off of him are you trying to approach? Mr. Lodia. Uh yes, yes, so it's all about wrong button here. It's all about the feeling for it. Go up, you go down. Okay, yep, I'll uh, go down to the gate. Uh, I'll just kinda sit on the gate, I'll approach the gate. Okay, Lodia, we're over a hundred, let's uh, approach each other. Good. Wow, that is hard to do. It is, but during the tournament stage, while you're skillfully doing something, we may get to a point where the obstacles against you aren't actually working, and uh, we need to cheat slightly. So what we'll do is we'll have this in so that you can foul your opponents. <laughs> we never quite got in range. I'll go up, you go down. X up if you've successfully done it and not got caught. Let's do it again. Before we get in long range. range. Yeah. Very nice. So, come to the tournament, you want to watch Anaxis, because Anaxis has got pro skills. And up. It's not very skills if I didn't think I did it. That is perfect, Deladio. Very nice. Let's add Deladio, add Deladio to the pro player list. I did it differently, I have to say. Okay, uh, move your point, please. Cycling down. You know, for aiming, it's easier if you if you just use the uh, orbit function for a moment, because I have set the orbit on 13, and then an orbited you, and then you approach the target at with this angle that you need. And in the moment where, and then I bash. Obviously, I try to lock it as fast as I can. Then I bash the scram overheated, my my button, my hotkey. And as soon as I hear, okay, I have a, uh, I have it now. I double click right in front of me, and burn a hat. I put a point on, put a circle of 15 or 20 kilometers, whatever, and get back to the orbit to tackle that, whatever that is. That's what I've done now. Very nice, very but, nice. But it's, it's so hard to aim by double-clicking for the right moment because the target is moving, obviously. Yeah, you, it's you, need to you need to correct and see where he's trying to go. And it's <laughs> very hard to aim for it. I'm having trouble with my lock time. Okay, we'll okay, go the Should we walk at zero? Yeah, walk the countdown at zero. Walk time active. Two cans in space, one is called Tawny, one is called Tawny 200. Let me just uh, reship to something that's going to catch people, and uh, we are going to start the tournament. 
first phase of the tournament, you can start now, get within 100 kilometers of the tourney camp. I have to take that in my overview first. <laughs> within 100? Yep, yeah, so this is based on Alliance tournament rules. If you go out of the arena in Alliance tournament, your ship is destroyed. So from now on, any, when I get back on grid, I'll walk to that tourney can. Anyone who's more than 100 kilometers away from it, at any point in the rest of the tournament, I'll call their name out as destroyed. When you're destroyed, just warp up to the tourney 200. That's the spectator's seats. And sit there in the loser's seats, watching the good players play. Why, why do we have two the same things on, on the overview here to be aware of? That's not good. One says tourney 200, one says tourney. Yeah, that's not good. One well, should be a bubble, bubble and the other one should be a, a, ca a cargo container, so you can actually have one of it not in your overview. It is what it is. <laughs> Don't Don't shoot. Can I ask something? If we go yep. away one, 100 kilometers from the tourney cargo, then we are out? That's the rules? Correct. I'll it's make it slightly way. easier. Uh, well, actually, no. Disregard that. So, from now on, manually pilot your ship. Stay within 100 kilometers of that can. Phase two is about to start. Could, well, we, let me you, kind of could we have some information about the rules and what we should do and not do? Yes. Except the distance here. Currently, the rules are do not go more than 100 kilometers from that can. That's the only rule. Look, you got a couple of seconds, guys. I'm seven of you away. Going to start eliminating people who are too far away. Guys, he's landing at zero. You should not be at zero on that fucking can. Oh. Okay, you see the Stabber Fleet issue? Caldon is now back on grid in the Stabber Fleet issue. The Stabber Fleet issue is a catcher. Yeah, so this uh, is a ship that will eliminate you by catching you. It's slower than your ship, and it only has a scrap. So, like... Uh, you should be able to outmaneuver it. Next phase. You need to have a point on the catcher. If you don't have a point with... Oh, hang on. I can eliminate Tamino and Alphurus. Tam Tamino and Alphurus, you're out. Let me uh, link them in fleet. Do you know why? You can. More than, more than 100 from the can. I don't think we knew we clearly started it, but... It's alright, clear comms, you lost. I still got a scram feed from the last exercise. You should have a scram and a point. If you look at the message of the day, it does say that. We are now going to eliminate people who do not have a point on uh, Calderon. The eliminations will start in 20 seconds. You have 20 seconds to get a point on Calderon. Don't worry about being caught, we're not going to do catching yet. You must have a point on Calderon in 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Thomas Cena, you're out. You stay on the can. Can I ask something? Sorry, sorry, Thomasina, you're not out. My bad. It was Tamino who's out. Well, sorry, I've walked away because I haven't got a wrong point. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, uh, yep, sorry, you, you lost because you didn't read the message of the day. In fact, oh, we'll get, the people off, people who lost will get off grid. Althurus, you'll have to, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you can dock up now, buddy. I worked to the camp, that's why I landed here. <laughs> that's fine, okay. <laughs> nice. So, 
for the rest of the exercise, you need to be within a hundred of the tawny can and you need to have Calderon pointed. Okay, right. Um, next phase is don't get scrammed. The don't get scrammed by Calderon phase will start in 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17. Can I ask some? Absolutely. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do we need to manually follow through this or? You we heard the man. Don't get scrammed and keep a point on him. That's your task. Do it. Just do it. I don't know what the point of the exercise oh, that... is. It's, yeah. He's not moving much yet. Well, now he's slowly moving. I'm out of cap. <laughs> You're out of... What the fuck? T uh, Thomasina, you're n I said you were out, but you weren't, so you can come back on grid if you want. Okay. Zendin, you're out. Art, you're okay. Bishop Acule, you're out. You lost point on the uh, stabber. Got you. Scram Valky, Valky, you're out, warp off. Thomasina, you've got 10 seconds to get a point. A perfect, it's fine. Zenvin, Valky, Bishop, get off grid please. Scram on Ops. It's hard to do without scamming. Ops, warp off. Leshrak, you've lost point. Warp off. Valky, warp off. Zembin, warp off. I'm already at the 200 cap. Yeah, warp off. I need you off grid, please. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, now I come to do it, it's really hard to do if um, people are still on grid. Call back, you've lost point. Warp off. Go off grid. Yep, yeah, get off grid. Raven, off grid, please. Let's rack off grid. Okay, advanced rule. You can now foul other players. So if you see that the stab of the issue is heading towards someone, use your scram to foul another interceptor so as to stab a blue issue. You them. idiot, I put all the small shit out of my overview. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the rules. Yeah, that was only sloppy. No, shush, shush. It's, it's doable. Just adapt. That was clear explanation. Eladio, you've lost point. Off you go. Anaxis, you've lost point. Drax, you've lost point. Damn. Off grid, please, Drax. 
Don't forget, you can foul people, guys. We're at the stage where we're probably going to need people to be fouled to be caught. Scram Senshi. Substantia, you've lost point. Okay. We have a winner, Thomas Cena. Congratulations. Let me uh, dock up and get you a Gama. So the one <laughs> who came later is now the winner. Surprise. A line yeah, station. Wow. A line oh, station. Nice. Deagress. Deagress. A line station. And the scenario where you have your own people orbiting your target and, and scaring you is very nice. Very nice, really. Okay, I know that was hard. A lot, a lot of teams. It's Thomasina, you need to let me go if I'm going to yeah, go and fetch you. Yeah, yeah. No, keep him there. <laughs> Bearing forward, Class FC, thank you. It's not bad, it's just the instructions never came clear. Well, this is it. When you are in fights, you'll find out stuff you have to do, and it's not kind of prepared in advance. I wanted to spring things on you. I wanted you guys to think on your feet. I have to say, you guys were fantastic tonight. You've done really, really well. I hope I've given you a lot of things to think about. Yeah, it's really good. It really was good. And uh, Thomas Sealer, you're going to have to link your new ship in fleet and in alliance so that you can brag about it and fly it around a bit and kill some people. Yeah, it's going to come out in the very first fleet. Is everyone happy with this day? Because I wasn't there for the whole tournament. Uh, no, oh, like FC is cool. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I mean, the, that tournament stuff at the end, I think that was a really good. Uh... Uh, open up to questions now. I'm livid. <laughs> Qu questions, questions, not bitching. <laughs> yeah, I have a suggestion, not a question. For Go the ahead. next time, maybe tell us to bring interceptors that are at least cap stable with T point and the MWD because I was running out of cap like one minute into it. Now, and that's yeah. actually a thing that you have to manage your cap. Like in a lot of ships, you will have to fight not cap stable. Yeah, but this thing has like one minute of cap. Try to orbit something or keep a range without MWD. It's hard. So you don't get it. Thanks, FC. Um, I guess the one thing I just started fast tackle, uh, maybe not more than a month or two, but making that decision to aggress someone, or m maybe jump through the gate. Like I, I caught that Vexor Navy issue, and he was within range. But do I really want to point him and then he have him jump through and get away? Trying to make that decision is a little tough on a newer person. Yeah, and hopefully the FC that. would be able to obviously direct you in the right place when you do that, you see, so... The point is, what you what you receive today is uh, the toolbox. You have to learn to use the toolbox uh, by doing failures and lose ships and pots, actually. You don't learn flying interceptors or frigates at all, or any ship in this game, by learning it from somebody who tells you how to work it. You have to... To, to consider your, your options in the blink of an eye, if you aggress or jump through, you have to handle the adrenaline. If, if you really jump into a gate camp and you try to do something or whatever, and that you will never learn from a lesson. So just fly this ship and try to, to be always a scout. I can just, exp uh, just tell you, if you want to learn it, uh, grab you a nice uh, interceptor and uh, volunteer for scouting because then you learn it. You will die maybe and then there will others who can scout. Yeah, I've done it in a bag and it works good. Quick question, where do I add tab uh, tags in uh, Paplink? Yeah, where is it in that? 